Why is reading books important? Reading may be a challenging task for many individuals. They would prefer to spend their time doing things that don't demand as much mental work. For instance, I watch Game of Thrones along with millions of other people. But very few people are aware that the movie was based on the book, and even fewer people have read the book. How come though? Why don't some people read for a short while instead of watching TV or idly scrolling through their phones? Hello everyone, welcome to Finance Wisdom. In this video, we're going to talk about why read books is important. If you're new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. According to a 2018 survey, approximately 24% of adult Americans read no books at all in 2017. Despite how startling this number may seem, let's first examine the advantages of reading before moving on to the reasons why people don't read. The Advantages of Reading Reading has been essential to the survival and existence of the human species since it has helped people share knowledge and ideas. We've made strides in science, medicine, and engineering thanks to the cross-pollination of ideas inferred from a broad range of reading. In fact, things are simpler today. Thanks to the development of the internet, we can now watch how-to videos rather than read about a certain issue. We must not overlook the basis upon which these goods we enjoy were constructed, even if this may seem acceptable and more accessible. Reading is not the sole method of learning. However, it is still very important. These are a few advantages why read books is important. The easiest approach to improving your exposure to new terms is to read more. Most of the new terminology won't be taught to you in comedy or on television. In general, writers employ language more precisely than entertainers. Your mental health is enhanced and your intellect is stimulated. Age-related cognitive deterioration may be avoided by reading. Research has shown that elderly individuals who read will preserve and even enhance their memory, reducing the memory loss that is associated with aging, even if it has not yet been shown that reading will help fight disorders like Alzheimer's. Similar to a muscle, the more you use your brain, the healthier and stronger it becomes. Similar to how reading engages the intellect, puzzles and games do as well. They provide mental stimulation as well. According to the National Institute on Aging, that's why read books is important since it is another great strategy to keep your mind active as you age. You wouldn't want to grow bored to death or let your thoughts turn into the devil's workshop, would you? More empathy is the result of it. People who read fiction books about the lives of characters are said to be better able to connect with and understand the thoughts and ideas of others. Your vocabulary will grow as a result. Have you ever struggled to find the appropriate words to explain yourself? Reading may aid in the development of a broad vocabulary that you can use every day to express yourself. According to a 2019 Cengage survey, 69% of employers are more willing to recruit candidates who can communicate effectively. Nobody wants a worker who does not have the appropriate words to speak at the appropriate moment or who does not have any appropriate remarks. Reading books is the most reliable way to get familiar with words as they change, since new terms are always being added to the dictionary. Reading can help you build empathy, which is important if you want to help people who are hurting or in need. You cannot read about the genocide in Rwanda and not feel compassion for the victims, or read about wars and continue to believe that it is okay to resolve conflicts in a brutal manner. Reading has the power to change you. An increasing corpus of evidence suggests that reading changes your thinking and perspective. Many individuals have changed their lives' directions after reading a book. In high school, Ben Carson's book, Gifted Hands, profoundly altered my outlook on life and my way of thinking. I'm not sure how I would have survived without it. Stress reduction benefits from reading. For those who believe reading is stressful, this is crucial information. A 2009 study on the impact of humor, yoga, and reading on students' stress levels was conducted by researchers. The research found that like comedy and yoga, reading for roughly 25 to 30 minutes reduced heart rate, blood pressure, and psychological discomfort. You see, reading itself is not stressful, but how you approach it is. Depression is alleviated by reading. Alarmingly, the number of suicides and fatalities from depression is on the rise. A sad person who reads fiction might find relief in a place where they feel appreciated and protected. 
And if done often enough, it may assist kids in starting to identify reasons why they can prevail in whatever circumstances they encounter. It gives you access to other people's thoughts. Any form of significant development is hampered by having just an opinion on a topic. The advantages and disadvantages of ideas from the past and present must be compared in order to produce something genuinely extraordinary. This has been crucial to the many advancements we have achieved in a variety of disciplines today. No idea, no matter how successful, is ever squandered. Now that you are aware of the benefits of reading, you may urge others to do the same. Apart from the advantages already mentioned, encouraging kids to read instead of playing video games all day helps them develop discipline. Early development of discipline will help them find their way in life and set them up for long-term success. So how do you go about creating a reading habit? Start by doing the easy actions listed below. Read books you find interesting. A work of fiction or an encouraging non-fiction book that you can identify with, such as the Ben Carson book I once read, would be terrific places to start. Start with articles, blog posts, and other shorter formats that interest you if reading a book sounds intimidating. One really outstanding piece of writing is all it takes to make you fall in love with reading. Every day, spend at least 30 minutes reading. Make reading a priority in your hectic schedule. Over time, developing the habit may be accomplished with as little as 30 minutes per day of persistent practice. Before you know it, you may be reading up to three novels every month. Take a book with you everywhere you go, so you can pass the time productively when waiting in a line, a cab, or at the airport. Now that ebooks are a thing, you can turn your smartphone into a travel-friendly library and save time carrying your books. Adjust your mentality. The idea that reading isn't pleasant or difficult prevents many people from developing the habit. But the opposite is really true. You will find reading to be not only fun, but also a way to relieve tension once you discover the value of books for learning and development. But first, you need to choose a topic that actually interests you. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Let's continue to discuss why read books is important. Let's now examine some of the most prevalent excuses for not reading. Reading may be really difficult. For many individuals, reading seems very laborious. They get frustrated upon viewing the hundreds of pages crammed with brain-taxing words, particularly when the books are large adult novels that have a dictionary-looking appearance. What's the purpose if it has a movie? According to statistics, once a movie has been published, novels that have been converted into films are most likely to get less attention. The majority of people would prefer to watch Game of Thrones episodes than read the novels. It seems that the movie is simpler, more interesting, and more enjoyable. Reading has no benefit. People often use the belief that reading is a waste of time as a justification for not doing it. They think reading doesn't benefit them in any way. For these folks, reading books was only advantageous when doing so helped you pass examinations, graduate from college, and get a job. Beyond that, they don't see any value in literature. Uh-oh. Poor concentration. It is common knowledge that individuals often get distracted, and it's not hard to see why we have the attention span of a goldfish when you consider how pervasive cell phones and other contemporary technology are. It will be challenging for anyone who has trouble focusing to fully engage in the reading experience. Your thoughts may wander due to the daily tension and worry. Therefore, it makes sense to desire to switch to other tasks that don't demand sustained concentration. In youth, there is a lack of parental support. My uncle was a literary professor, and his kids grow up in a sea of Shakespearean, Hardian, and Hemingwayan literature. Early on, they had no other options for pleasure except classic English literature, which led them to fall in love with reading for the rest of their lives. The majority of people who don't read come from families where their parents didn't read or didn't push them to. However, things don't have to be this way. Too busy to read. Everyone is busy, so it seems logical that this is the most frequent explanation. You have a myriad of obligations that demand your attention, including your job, domestic tasks, parenting duties, and a million other things. Additionally, each day is limited to 24 hours for them. Reading may take a lot of time. Additionally, some novels include tens of thousands of pages and take months to complete. So why even bother? 
In conclusion, the information we have learned by reading books is a foundation for all the advancement we have accomplished so far. So it's reasonable to assume that one skill you must master if you want to get a head start in life is reading. Make every effort to develop this habit, even if you don't have a natural propensity for it. The majority of the world's most accomplished business people and leaders have a voracious hunger for reading. Bill Gates is said to read up to 50 books annually. Every day, Warren Buffett reads more than 500 pages of reports and 5 newspapers. And every two weeks, Mark Zuckerberg reads a book. Who knows then? Reading could be the key to getting into the billionaire's club. We've reached the end of another video, and thank you for watching. I hope you have learned about why read books is important. If you like this video, do give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye.